Hey everyone, happy Saturday. My name is Caitlin and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would try my first attempt at getting ready with you. I'm getting ready to go out for a little date adventure. I thought I would film something and then just take you through some of the products that I'm using. But first, before that, my husband bought me the Kirkland Signature Cold Brew Coffee from Costco. And if you don't know, I am a coffee addict. I have a full Instagram account dedicated to coffee. It is called Breckles and Flat Whites if you want to follow along for all things coffee. I thought I would try this with you because I've seen a lot of people go crazy about Kirkland's cold brew coffee, so let's see. I have already a glass with some ice and I don't really have a long glass, so it will just have to do. So let, let us see. It is from 100% Colombian. That's cool. As my Instagram name indicates, I love flat white, so I don't gravitate towards cold coffees, but I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. So I'm gonna put too much in. I'm going to have some unsweetened almond milk, vanilla. I'm gonna add some vanilla milk with it to see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Let's have some vanilla milk to it. So when I come with coffee, I'm gonna go get a straw. Okay, I'm back with my straw. It's very long, so it's going to not fit into this, but let's just give it a little bit of a, a stir. And let's try it. Yeah, I like it. It's not super sweet. I do know that if people obviously like sweeteners in their coffee, so the syrups, which I don't typically go for, I think adding like a vanilla syrup to this cold brew will really change it. But I like it in my very small glass and very long straw. So I'm going to drink this well. I'm going to get ready with you, but let's have another sip. Whew, it's nice and sharp. Definitely that Colombia. I moved the, the can. 100% Colombia, well, cold brew coffee from Costco. I give it a big thumbs up. If you are a Costco lover, I definitely recommend getting the cold brew. And I'm going to enjoy this. Especially while the hot days are coming. This is nice. This will also be great in a smoothie, so I'm going to leave that there. I said I wanted to do a makeup look with you and one of the YouTube influencers, vloggers that I'm loving right now is, I want, I'm going to say Alana, but it is, she said her name recently, Alana Barama. So it's Alana, I think that's how you say it. Alana Rama, she has done a collaboration with MAC. This is her, gorgeous. And I decided to buy her collaboration because when she just started speaking about MAC, this was before a collaboration, I know that she was building up to it in her vlogs, but it just really took me back because MAC was one of the first makeup products that I used and she has released like these five items, which is the strobe cream, which I used to use before. And it is the brush, the extra dimension skin finish in Whisper of Guilt Mist and the Guilt and the Prep and Prime Coconut Spray, Finishing Spray. She also has a lip pencil and lip Gloss. When she released this, I was on it. I think I watched her vlog the day that it was released and I was like, yes, I need to try these MAC products again. I am now going to take you through using, using these five products and then obviously I've brought in some eyeshadow and mascara and obviously some of the other makeup products that I use. So my skin is nice and clean. I just had a shower. I've kept my hair up in like a little bun and I'm going to try this. So let's see if it works. But first, 
Let's have a little a sip of the cold brew. Very big straw. I need to get a bigger glass. I'm going to start with the MAC strobe cream. I'm sure a lot of you have used this before. I just love the smell. It just takes me back to university. I'm going to obviously put it on as a primer. So just to kind of set, set the foundation for my skin. I love it. So I'm going to put this on and try and use the camera as my mirror. So let's see how that goes. Okay. So now I put this on. So nice and shiny. So it just adds like an extra layer of hydration to your skin. I did go for a long hour walk this morning. I made coffee in my keep cup and I went to Wholesale to get a smoothie bowl because I'm a little bit addicted. And then I'm going to start with eyes first. I generally do my eyes first and then I do foundation. So I do eyes with mascara, foundation, then I do my eyebrows. Because you can see they're super light, super light eyebrows. And then we'll obviously do blush and then finish off with the lips for my date day. I'm using, before I go into this, I'm using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow. I've said this so many times and I can't even remember the name. So it's Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It is in the white. I've mentioned this before in my previous vlog. I will be sharing, well I have been, I have shared what I bought from the Sephora sale. Let's see, I'm gonna have to... Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Just put it on here. This is a very kind of like light layer, I put a bit too much on there. So this really kind of helps set in the eyeshadow, especially if you want long lasting eyewear. So I've got that on, I'm just gonna let it sit for a second. I am... Um, going to be using my Dior Backstage palette, which is the Cool Neutrals, and I just love it because it's got these beautiful, beautiful like pinky, pink and purpley undertones. I'm not gonna use the matte, I'm actually gonna use like the shimmer. And then we will do some eyes, um, not eyeshadow, we'll do some mascara, but I think it has now set. Let's get my brushes. I pretty much use like three, like four brushes. Two for eyes, one for base, and one for the blush. So my eye brushes, I do actually need to, I do need to wash them, but it's okay. I'm going to start with this color, get into the, it is the Shimmer Pink, then I'm going to go to Shimmer Lilac, and then Shimmer Purple. Oh, I actually didn't know that those were the names. Those are cool. I'm starting with the Shimmer Pink, just on the whole base. I'm going to be using this mirror here. I'm at my vanity, which is in the spare room. Setting up my spare room to film and see how that goes. So covering the whole eyeshadow. <laughs> whole eyeshadow whole eye, whole eye, okay, that is good, just kind of dusting the, let me just actually show you, so I used this big, I've got, this is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow pen, it is the eye sweep that I have, and I love it, it's really nice and big to kind of get like your whole, whole eyelid, and then I use the angle eye brush to do like all like the creases and kind of get like a little bit of definition. I'm now going to use the shimmer lilac, shimmer lilac, and then just go in the corners. I am by no means an an expert. This is how I've been doing my makeup. I have done one or two makeup classes. I mean, my sister got married in July last year. No, not last year because we were in lockdown. In 2019, the makeup artist that she wanted to use for a wedding was hosting makeup, a makeup class. Like, it was a makeup class with Dermalogica, which was amazing in Cape Town. So we went there and we learned quite a bit and it was fun. 
but yeah, I'm by no means like an expert. I just like to learn how I've gotten the contouring down. So that's still something that I want to learn about. But now I'm going to just do some of the creases. And then, still with the same brush, I'm now going to use the shimmer purple. Is it shimmer purple? The shimmer purple. And this is really just going to make it a little bit like darker, like you can see already. So just kind of smudging into that. I'm going to try to get a bit closer because I can't really see. I have no idea how people do this. Like do their makeup online on a YouTube tutorial. And then, because you can't really see, can't really see it very clearly when you're doing it yourself in the actual camera. But we all learn. This is quite fun. So I'm getting it quite nice and even. You can now see the difference in the two. Then I'm gonna go in the other other eye. Do the same. Just kind of putting a little bit of the dark shimmer purple do kind of create that edge because I like doing a very solid cat eye eyeliner. It makes me think of like Cleopatra all the time. I love a good a good eyeliner and I've been doing that for Yes, since like varsity. So I look a little bit dark on the one side, so I just need to even it out. I've obviously got the window open. My light has died on me. The little what's it called? Ring lights? Ring light? Yeah, that, that has died. So I need to get a new one. So I'm trying to use the natural natural sunlight to do this and Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I always tend to hold my eye like this, just to kind of get it a little bit more squared. I know a lot of people have so many things, like some people actually paste things on their, just under their eye to get that kind of straight look. But yeah, I just do it naturally and just make sure it's like, yeah, kind of even. So this is looking good. I'm done with that. Just a quick break. A quick cold brew break. I'm now going to move on to mascaras. I've already shared this with you. I have the Dior Show mascara and I use a primer and then obviously top up with the actual black mascara. I don't have fake eyelashes. I'm super scared of them actually. I use a primer and this primer just kind of helps volumize your eyelashes. So if you're like me and you don't like fake eyelashes then this is a good alternative for you just to add like a primer that pretty much just helps any mascara look a little bit fuller and so obviously it looks very strange because it looks super white and then straight away put on your mascara. So yeah, there's really pretty much no correct or wrong way. Uh, this is just how I do it. You can kind of see how it creates a lot of volume. I think I mentioned I probably won't be buying the Dior mascara again. I really love the Marc Jacobs mascara. I th it's in a gold, like striped black and gold covering product packaging uh, so I'm basically waiting to use this because I got this for Christmas last year so I'm just waiting to pretty much finish this mascara so that I can buy the Marc Jacobs mascara I don't really put any mascara under my eyes I just kind of naturally if it does kind of go on there it can go on there mascara is on I love adding just a little bit of volume so like my eyes just pop, which is great. And then next is base. This foundation that I'm using is the Tarte Rainforest 
of the Sea Water Foundation, which I love. The third makeup brush that I use is the see it needs to actually be washed, is the full coverage face Bobbi Brown foundation brush that I use. I'm just gonna take some of my foundation and just whoops, just gonna put it on here. I pretty much like a full full coverage. Full coverage. You obviously can still see my freckles. My face has been struggling because of masks. I have been trying to walk every day this month in where are we? April. There you can kind of see I've got a bit of pigmentation on my left side and then the base kind of smooths it, smooths it out. I have I have started using the well I'm still using the Dr. Jart uh, face cream uh, which basically neutralizes the redness because I have very pale skin. So I'm also just very prone to blemishes and very sensitive skins. It's just even out my skin. And then I've got a beautiful sunspot over there. And I am definitely not one to lie in the sun, so I have no idea why. There's just like one on my face in the corner there. I have now got my base on, and it's pretty much just evening it out. And then obviously you can see some, some face mask acne coming up, which is just beautiful. Beautiful, thank you, masks. Also when we exercise in our gym, we have to wear face masks, which is not good with like sweating and then it just like clogs up the pores. But I do try and do some deep, deep cleansing facials. I also can't wait to go back for a facial. Soon, 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 soon I'll be able to go back. I've just been holding out until I get my second shot. Actually, I haven't said anything here. I've said it on another video, but I've already had my first shot. I'm super excited to be getting my second one in a week's time, I think. It's like a week's time, yes. And then I think I'm going to treat myself to a facial, even though the person who will be doing the facial will be wearing a mask. It just, just adds an extra layer of protection. Face looking good. It obviously looks a little bit dark on the side because the sun's just like coming in from here. But now we're going to be using MAC Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension F Skin Finish. I really love this just to kind of like highlight my cheeks. I have a blush brush. I have no idea what it is called, but I got it when... We did that makeup class with my sister's wedding makeup artist. I just love this color. It's super nice and neutral. I've really just been loving it. And so I just go kind of along the cheekbones just to kind of like add some, some definition. And it's like super subtle, which I love. I've got it like. Also, you can, if you're done with along the cheekbones, you can obviously put it like on your nose just to like add some extra definition and scalp. I'm actually also going to use also the the Dior backstage. It is their it's their glow palette. I'm actually going to put some of the the strobe and the blush bronze on it just to kind of add some definitions. I'm going to just add some of the strobe. I'm just going to add it. I just started adding it like just under my eye. Just to add like a little bit of shine. I think I copied this from Alana. Alana? I would say Alana, but it's got two L's. 
and I'm just adding some extra shine and then I'm going to add the bronze just to I'm going to suck at my cheeks like a little goldfish. Just to add like some additional cheek structure. Okay, you can probably see it better on the side. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this afternoon light is like missing with how I can see. Okay, so I've got some definition here. If I find it might be a bit too much, I think I think that's fine. I'll put some foundation and coverage if it's a little bit too much, then we're around seven minutes. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows. Been loving the Dior eyebrow styler, so I'm just going to put some. I'm just brushing my eyebrows. I have tinted them recently, and then I'm going to just draw. I really feel like this makes it nice and fuller. So, ooh, light's coming in. So there I've like folded in, it's a bit dark on the side already, it doesn't really have to be too, too full in. Oop, can't see it on the, I can't do it on the screen. I'm trying, I tried. Not working. Let's see. Looks like I've got two dark, very dark eyebrows. Okay, <laughs> it looks like I'm super dark on the one side, but again, the light is coming in from the right. It just looks super dark. Okay, there you can see. See my eyebrows, and I'm going to top off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye gel, just to eyebrow gel, just to kind of keep them in place. I don't always find like a huge difference. Again, I don't have very thick eyebrows, but sometimes I do have like one or two little funny hairs that just do their own thing. Next up, I'm going to just put some Hydro Concealer. It's my Tarte Hydro Concealer, and I'm just going to put it like in the corner, just under my eyes, to give us me some more coverage, and then I've got like a beautiful spot there and then I do also cover up my beautiful sunspot and what else do I have? I have over there too. The mask acne. Hmm. Mask mask pumps. So then I'm just gonna blend it with a little sponge and can actually use this use the MAC Prep and Prime to kind of wet it. So the fix and Coconut. It smells, ooh, it smells so nice. Okay, I look so ridiculous. But let's just put it in there. I luckily don't have very dark bags, I want to say, under my eyes. So I don't really have to worry about covering too much up. And then that looks good covered up my little little sunspot and some additional spots but that's fine oh, coffee break oh I need to set up my room you can see bikes in the background before I put on the lips the lip liner and uh, lip gloss I'm going to do my eyeliners I love the by Terry uh, liquid eyeliner and it's pretty much the only thing that I, I like from By Terry. I've tried a few of their other products. I really want to try their... I really want to try their eyeshadow, but some of their other products just have not worked for me, so... This is definitely a favorite of mine that I've tried, so let's see how can I do this. This is going to be interesting. Because I'm actually very far away from the mirror. 
So there we go. Okay. Actually, not too bad. Liquid eyeliner. Just to kind of highlight the eyes a bit more. Eyes are really the most like beautiful feature that anyone has. Okay, that was like concentration. Now I have my eyeliners on. So my eyes are pretty much highlighted. And you can obviously, if you want more flick, you can just add more of a flick. I actually think this is running. Running low. Okay, I think that is it. Didn't get a good good flick on the on the right eye. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, but better. Yeah, let's go with that. Last thing to do now is looks. Love that it is a full size. Basically, all the Mac Mac products are full size. It was what was it? They were advertising in in Canadian. It was I think seventy five dollars which is such a bargain for five full products and this is the I actually don't I've never had a, a brown lip pencil so this is the strip down lip pencil and I'm assuming the strip down is the color but yeah it's pretty much like a very natural brownie nudie color so I'm just going to Highlight my lips. And then obviously you can fill in if you want. I'm not going to fill in too much. And then finishing it off with the MAC Lip Gloss, the see through. MAC Lip Gloss. I have not bought a MAC Lip Gloss since my wedding, which was. Five years ago we actually celebrated our fifth year anniversary last night and I I wore this lip color and yeah I really like it I like love the nude I'm loving I'm loving the nude vibes and then obviously the dramatic eyes that is basically it and then we're going to finish off with the fix and coconut spray and it's also a skin refresher i like that okay so i'm going to just spray this is probably going to be look hilarious hm. i've seen people use like fans but i basically just like fan myself dry and that is my first attempt at doing makeup with you. I'm now going to go finish getting ready and hopefully you liked me showing you how I do my makeup. Oh, and I actually bought perfume. I'm going to be wearing the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I'm going to finish off with this, I love the smell. I know with Jo Malone you can, you can also combined scents. I've never tried that. But anyway, I'm now going to finish getting ready. I need to do my hair. It's obviously still in a bun, which I love my hair in a bun. It's super easy because it's super long. But hopefully you enjoyed me sharing my first attempt at doing my makeup. If you liked what you saw, please do subscribe. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you bought uh, Alana's MAC edition collaboration. And let me know what your favorite MAC product is and if you have any other products I should try. I love to obviously learn and this has been fun. Have a great week ahead everyone. I will chat to you soon. Bye.